I'm recording this video later than I usually would re do any recording. Um, it's really because I had to get some re rest after work. I mean, it was a Monday. It was kind of a tiring Monday. So, yeah, I mean, that's the gist of it. I, I usually would have wanted to have a video up earlier. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's what it comes down to. I just needed some rest. And then the fact that it's been raining most of the evening, I mean, that just makes it even tougher for me to kind of get up and get energized pretty much. But, yeah, I am going to go ahead and get to this unboxing. I got um, packages here from some really good friends, um, well, two really good friends, Collecting Plastic, uh, which a lot of you, I'm sure, are familiar with this channel. And then also Sherry Stover, um, really good friend. And then also she's a, a custom Funko Pop artist. Um, yeah, she does a great job with that. Um, I'm going to link both of their channels down below. If you're not already familiar with them, definitely go check them out. Show them some support and please let them know that I sent you on over there. You know, let them know that FM sent you. And um, yeah, like I said, if you're not familiar with them, please do get familiar with them. Both very great individuals. I want to say one thing real quick before I get to the boxes here. I didn't watch the season premiere of The Walking Dead yet. Part of that is because I was so beat from work. But also, I'm just... I don't know, I'm just not even like uh, all that enthused about it right now. I'm actually considering waiting and I know I might end up hearing some spoilers here and there and please don't put any in my comment section. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of feeling like I might just end up waiting and watching a couple of episodes at one time. At least that way if I don't like a particular episode, you know, maybe I'll like a couple of the others. So that's what I'm considering doing right now. And like I said, I know it's risky because I may run across some spoilers, but I'm almost getting to the point where I don't want any major spoilers, but if I hear some little things here and there, I'm really not going to sweat it too much. But yeah, enough about that. Let me go ahead and start off here with two packages that Collecting Plastic sent my way. He actually sent um, two boxes, and the reason he did this is because he ships from across the country to me, and it can actually be cheaper to ship two items you know, in smaller boxes than to ship them together. I mean, that's just the way... Things work with the post office, so let's go ahead and look at the first item here, which um, hopefully I can slide this out from the side. I did open the box up on the side because he taped it up very well. Yeah, and it looks like it's in good condition. I know he was concerned about this, whether or not it arrived in good condition, but here we have the rock candy figure of Mrs. Incredible. And I actually am going to get this one out in just a second and take a closer look at it. But yeah, I think it's cool that they did a rock candy figure of her. And I want to hear from you all. You know, how many of you are hyped about us finally getting a sequel to The Incredibles? I kind of wish it hadn't taken them so long to do it. I mean, honestly, in my opinion, there's probably some other movies that they could have not worried about and focused more so on The Incredibles, like including um the car series. I just... I've, I've never been enthused about the car series, even even though there are some good pop figures um, from that series. But um, yeah, I just, I'm really, I feel like The Incredibles is overdue. And I can't wait to see some of the characters again, especially Dash. So making sure that I get her on the stand here, which again, Funko redesigned their stands, which I'm so grateful for. It makes it so much easier to get the characters on there. Yeah, so there she goes. Mrs. Incredible. When I first saw um, this figure well I saw the uh, pictures of it I wasn't sure how accurate it was to the character I would say overall pretty accurate um, you know in terms of the face sculpt and then the proportions of the character I think it's pretty true to her you know what I mean you look at it it's no doubt this is this is incredible so that is very cool and I am looking forward I I, I would imagine um, that Funko is going to do something with the next movie now there are some um, older pop figures of the characters out there. I think there is Mr. Incredible and then Syndrome as well. That, I think they at least did those two. I would love that that Syndrome pop, but I know the price is ridiculous. So um, yeah, I'm just going to look forward to see what they do with the next movie. Okay, the next item that he sent my way. This is one um, I knew was on the way that he was nice enough to pick up for me. Okay. And he actually shipped it a box within a box, which, by the way, um, I know that Hot Topic does it in Box Lunch as well. They ship box within a box a lot of times now. It's a good idea if you're going to ship pops to somebody to actually reuse those boxes and ship box within a box yourself. It's a good way to basically protect the figures. So, yeah, this one, <laughs> I was looking forward to getting this. And this is a New York Comic Con exclusive or a fall 
Chariot exclusive we have here from Bopulous Michael from Rick and Morty. So I'm going to actually keep this one in the box even though I do like the details of it. But yeah, I'm really glad to have this one. And I'm looking forward to adding more Rick and Morty figures to my collection because I really don't have that many as far as as far as pop figures goes the only ones I have right now are weaponized Rick weaponized Morty and then I have all three of the me seeks pop figures so I mean that's it and you know what this one included now but yeah big shout out to collecting plastic for sending these two items my way and like I said I really do like this figure this character I think was only featured in one episode but he was a pretty cool character you know, and I would I wouldn't mind seeing him return in the future. I'm not sure though. Rick and Morty seems like they tend to um they just keep introducing new characters instead of worrying so much about going back to old older characters, except for little cameos like um Mr. Poopy Butthole <laughs> has had his cameos, but yeah, they tend to kind of keep it moving forward. But again, big shout out to Collecting Plastic. Thank you so much for sending these my way, and both figures arrived in great condition. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get into this box here, which was sent to me by my friend Sherry Stover. And originally, I think she was just supposed to send me um, one figure, but she ended up putting a box together. So I'm not even sure completely what is in here. We're about to find out together. Yeah, she really did pack this full of stuff. So, okay. <laughs> well, th she sent some items that... We talked about before, I think she wanted to do like a trade and then I was like, I, I don't know because I feel like I've been taking on maybe too many trades and it gets a little tough to keep track of them. So that's why I kind of backed down on it even though I was interested in these, but she went ahead and sent them to me anyway. So the first one we have here, we have adorbs of Jason Voorhees. Okay, this is something I definitely don't own, but I've kind of eyed at times. So that's very cool to send her for her to send it my way. Then also we have here Freddy Krueger and this one I mean they're they're both really well done I think I especially like the Freddy one the detailing on it that looks pretty good and I like the design of the the horror doors boxes as well so normally doors like this I probably would go ahead and take them out but I like the way that these look in the box so I'll find a place to display them and we're not done there with these yet she also sent, we have here, uh, let me get them right, we have Leatherface, and then we also have Pinhead from Hellraiser. So she actually sent the full set there, you see all the characters there on the side. So yeah, she completed a set for me, very cool of her to go ahead and do that. And I honestly thought she had um, either sold these or traded these to somebody else already. So thank you so much Sherry for sending these my way. I mean they really do look great together. Like I said, I, I really like the design of the packaging. Okay, so I'm gonna sit those all up there together. Yeah, that looks really nice. <laughs> so I actually am very glad she went ahead and sent those. Okay, then she, um oh we have some um mystery minis here. I actually have no idea what series these might be from because she just sent the bag, so this is truly a mystery let me go in and see what the first one is and I think it's Marvel because I f it feels like a bobblehead so it's probably a Marvel figure let's go ahead and get this one open and see what's going on yep and we have Cyclops here which um I don't think I have this one yet yeah I don't recall getting this one and this is actually a pretty good representation of Cyclops because I mean he's he has his hand up there to his visor and he has that scowl going on. I mean, Cyclops seems like he's usually in a bad mood, you know, so that's a pretty good representation of the character. So I definitely like that. And he stands pretty well. So this other one, yeah, it feels like a bobblehead too. I'm assuming that this is also an X-Men one. Let's go ahead and see who we got going on here. Okay, we have Colossus and this Colossus is actually kind of a huge figure. Now this one, I think I actually have. I can't remember for sure. I feel like I have this one, but if I do, it's really not a big deal, especially because now in my collection, I really have Marvel figures in more than one area. So, um, you know, I'll have one in each of the areas right now, basically. But yeah, this is a really good representation of the character as well. 
you see again bobblehead there and I mean he's not a metallic paint job but it still has a nice shine to it so yeah that's a cool looking figure as well and then we actually have here some of these boxes are uh, completely wrapped up still she actually sent four of these all together okay so let's go ahead and go through these and I want to take a look at the back here real quick so at this point I do have um, uh, I can't remember I know I have Logan I actually have more than one of Logan I want to say I have that Wolverine as well just got Cyclops I don't have Storm don't have Professor X don't have Beast I got Colossus don't have Mystique um, uh, can't remember for sure I think I do have a uh, Sabretooth don't have Emma Frost Magneto I don't think I have I definitely do have Juggernaut and I might have some exclusives as well in fact I know I do um, yeah I have some exclusives because there were some store exclusives but let's get into these and see which figures we have here so I mean there's a chance of me um, getting some more doubles but I'm fine with that you know it's a good chance of getting some new ones too so here we have Wolverine and I mean looking at this Wolverine now yeah I don't think I have this one yeah I got Logan but I don't I didn't actually have Wolverine so that's very cool that I finally do have him and <laughs> good expression that fits the character there as well claws look pretty cool also so yeah I actually got some of these um I think not too long after the this series first came out Okay, keeping it moving here and I hope I get another new character at least uh, one or two other new characters would be cool but I know how the eyes go it's a chance of another double oh be careful here I think I can see who this is yeah <laughs> got Emma Frost there very cool and that's good timing to get her because um, unless it's been pushed back there should be that um, diamond form Emma Frost figure on the way pretty soon. Like I said, unless it got pushed back for some reason. And I already do have the other Emma Frost pop figure. Her pretty much looking like this, you know, but of course in pop form. So, yeah, that's very cool also. Okay, so overall doing pretty well here so far. Let's get to the next one. And I, I do like this uh, series overall. I do feel like there's some um, scale issues because I do have the, um, in fact, one exclusive that I have is Cable. And for some reason, Cable is like one of the smallest figures. I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe it's because he was an exclusive and I don't know, maybe they just didn't quite check in with the other figures or something. I don't know. It, it's just kind of odd that Cable was so small. Nice. We got another new one here. Oh, let me try to get her out carefully. Mystique. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. And um, this is a, a a figure, a pop figure. I wouldn't mind having either because I don't actually have that one. I do have the uh, rock candy of Mystique, but I don't have the actual pop figure. So yeah, I might have to pick that up um, if I see it again. One thing I really like about this design of Mystique is the little skulls around her waist, and then she also has the skull up there. Yeah, pretty pretty twisted. So I do like that. Let me make some space up here for her. And then we got, like I said, one more of these. And, uh, you know, it'd be real awesome to get yet another new character, but at this point, it's a high chance of a double, which is fine. But from the feel, I think we actually do have another new character. Yeah, we do. This is one another one I don't have, Storm. That is pretty awesome. So, yeah, Sherry, great job, great job there. Cause only one double, and considering I already have a couple of these, that is a really good job there. And this is a pretty nice design for Storm. I'm really hoping, um, at some point in the X Men franchise, that Storm is cast properly. I don't feel like Storm has been cast properly yet. That's just my opinion. I, I think the you know a different actress could probably do a much better job with the character and she could probably be represented much better as well but you know that's just my opinion but yeah this is a great looking figure of Storm and hopefully she'll stand because I, I have the Vulture figure from the Spider-Man series and it's designed in a similar way where the wings and um, the one foot like supports it to stand 
hopefully this one stands better than that one because I had a lot of trouble with that vulture figure falling over and yeah she's actually well balanced there okay so very cool okay and oh see we got another item here before I get to the last one this is a metal bottle opener <laughs> featuring Harley Quinn so that is pretty cool I think I want to actually leave this in the packaging for right now you can see it pretty well there in the packaging and yes yeah, I like that it's Harley Quinn she has her hammer up there her sledgehammer and then the, the sledgehammer is opened up at the end that's the actual bottle opener I really like the design of her name there too that looks really good yeah, it looks like they actually did like different um variants on the metal there just to kind of create that effect so yeah that's pretty cool I mean I think most people that know me well and, and at this point Sherry definitely knows me pretty well um, I'm kind of a sucker for Harley Quinn items so that's pretty cool and then the last item in the box here we do have yet again a box within a box so she reused the box here or um, she may have actually just kept the figure in the box because this is something she ordered online for me so yeah again easy way to protect the pop figures is to use these small boxes so this is yet another NYCC figure here and this is one I was kinda iffy on getting or not but um, you know Sherry offered to help me out if I was still looking for anything and I was like let me not regret um, you know end up regretting missing out on this one so we have here the Grandmaster which um, you know obviously he's uh, gonna be in Thor Ragnarok played by Jeff Goldblum and he's uh, he's really uh, such a quirky actor and I mean he's he's a good actor overall he's had he's been in some movies that are questionable but you know overall I would say he's a very interesting actor so I just wanted to go ahead and make sure I had this one because I'm gonna see Thor Ragnarok as soon as it comes out and there's a good chance that I'll end up liking his character and you know I don't want to regret missing out on the figure so and this is a great looking figure really nice colors to it yeah I like how they actually have his hands together and you can see it looks like his fingernails are painted there as well so yeah I really do like this and as far as I know I think the Grand Master is the brother of the collector played by um, Benicio Del Toro which I still want that character to get some more screen time I, I like how quirky uh, Benicio Del Toro was with that character and he just didn't have enough time on screen in my opinion but yeah this is pretty cool and I very much appreciate it Sherry and yeah I'm leaving this one in the box right now as well and I'm gonna find a good spot for him so yeah all together let me adjust my camera just a little bit here this is a pretty awesome Monday haul at the time that I'm recording this it is Monday I know a lot of you may be seeing this um, on Tuesday or even later than that but I gotta say again these are two awesome friends of mine that I've made thanks to YouTube um, you know great members of the community we really do look out for each other um, collecting plastic I, I sent him something previously and I'm gonna look out for him as far as the uh, new Teens Titans figures are concerned one in particular um, and then also with Sherry she's gotten into collecting Star Wars so I'm gonna be checking out some Walgreens and uh, maybe Walmart as well pretty soon as a matter of fact I may go out um, either tomorrow or Wednesday so yeah we really do look out for each other that's what community is about that's a big part of collecting I've said this before and let me give this advice again real quick some people that are trying to approach collecting in a negative way like going on YouTube and putting down collectors and being heavily critical all you're going to do is really make it tougher for you to build up your collection because so much of what I have in my collection is thanks to members of the community and you don't get helped out by from people by being rude and being ugly and being greedy that just doesn't work out you have got to be genuinely kind not fake kind but genuinely kind and when you are genuinely kind to people they're genuinely kind to you and that's really a big part of collecting again in my opinion but yeah that's gonna do it for this video like I said do check the links down below show these uh, youtubers and my friends some love on their channels and by the way yes I did reach 7,000 subscribers I'm really happy about that I really love that support from the community 
and seven is my favorite number so yeah i very much appreciate that thank you all so much that have stuck with my channel and thank you all all that have recently subscribed to my channel as well it is very much appreciated but yeah that's going to do it for this video um great way to start off my week <laughs> and i'll talk to you all again real soon